Reports coming in earlier this month indicated us that Declan Rice is the priority target of Arsenal in the summer. Today, we've got a story coming in from Italy indicating us that Federico Chiesa, who plays for a side called Juventus, is really a player that Mikel Arteta is really wanting to bring to his side known as Arsenal. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. We are talking the return of Gabriel Jesus. Smash the like button, comment and share. And obviously, Jakub Kuya, Mikel Arteta coming out and really hinting about why they are going in for this player known as, why they went in for this player known as Jakub from a side known as Spazia and is now a Ghana, officially signed as an Arsenal player. And obviously, we are waiting to see what everything is going to go on and happen from the ground of Arsenal as far as this guy is concerned. So, Rokan David is my name. Smash the like button, comment and share. United has beaten Nottingham Forest by three goals to nil away from home. Veghos scoring his first goal for United. Rashford continuing to score again after scoring against Arsenal. He has scored another goal today and those are 10 goals in 10 games ever since we returned from the World Cup. Rashford is now having 18 goals this season. If I tell you added the three score the World Cup, that puts his tally to 21 goals this season. He might score even 40 if at all we... Sorry, if at all he keeps himself fit and running on the field of play. Nottingham looks like they're out. Newcastle yesterday beat a side called Southampton by on goal to nil. So next week, you're going to get to know who is going to Wembley, but it looks like United and Newcastle are the teams that are really going to be playing at Wembley. Not so. so let's leave that at that and let's get into the story. Subscribe. You're left with just 10 subscribers to hit 11,000 subscribers. Subscribe to this channel, guys, and smash the like button. Now, we are getting a story coming for Kalesio Mercato. You know him very well. He is... <coughs> He's coming in from Italy and he's talking about an Italian player who plays for Juventus, that is Federico Chiesa. He's telling us that he's telling us that Juventus forward Federico Chiesa is now Arsenal's number one transfer target. With head coach Ateta said to be a huge fan of the talented attacker Chiesa, who has also been linked with Liverpool and Real Madrid in recent weeks, has been plagued by the plethora of injury issues. That's it. Now, let's talk about Chiesa, 25 years of age. Obviously, into the profile 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 bracket of Mikel Arteta, he wants players of that age, especially attack-minded, and his intensity is really out of this world. Imagine having two players pressing at the same level, like like Gabriel Jesus and Chiesa, because Chiesa is really one of the best direct players I've seen in the world of football. He is really good. He's really good, and um, Arsenal going in for him will be something great and making him his target transfer sign his tr his target transfer or his priority transfer signing the summer really holds a lot of water do you know why Arsenal know it that come rain come sunshine they're qualifying for the champions league if they're qualifying for the champions league what do they need they need players that are really up to that level the Chiesas, because they've done it. Their mentality is really up there. So, when you're having Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus, add their Chiesa, add their Trossard, Bukayo Saka, Martinelli, obviously, you know that you're really getting to the Champions League with a very, very strong squad. And I'm not worried about the fans of Arsenal, because if Arsenal have been spending funds like that without the Champions League, what are they going to be like if at all they are in the Champions League? The answer is really outside there and it's all over the world that means they are going to go out and really break the bank get in players you might find they can get in Declan Rice and Federico Chiesa in the same window but the question is how much is Federico Chiesa at 25 years of age having a contract with Juventus let me check here Chiesa Chiesa transfer market let me have a look at his contract at Juventus how long is it Federico Chiesa his contract is running down in 2025 he came in in 2022 so he signed a three-year contract with Juventus so if his contract is expiring 2025 meaning that by the end of this summer he'll be left with two years on his contract does that call for him to be sold expensively? <clears throat> I believe Juventus 
with the financial situations they are going in through, <clears throat> I believe if they don't get someone to bail them out, they need to sell some players. That's why you see they're selling McKenney at 35 million euros. That's the money they want. And Leeds has made a bid of 28. It has been rejected and they want 35 million euros, meaning that they are desperate to sell. They are desperate to sell players because the situation they are into is really uncertain. Secondly, it's going to be hard for them to make to the Champions League because they're like 15 points. Is it 15? 15, 13? 15, 13 points away from the fourth spot of the Champions League. Remember, after having really overpassed the financial fair play rule and in the Serie A, they really did some, some uncertainties that were uncalled for. The board resigned. After the board resigning, Juventus has been found guilty and with a 15 were they 15 points cut off or 20? One of those, I think 15 points cut off from them and now they are really trailing at, is it the 10th place? So it shows you that teams above them are really going to put the pedal, are going to keep the foot on the pedal. AC Milan, Napoli, Inter Milan, there is Atalanta, there is AS Roma and very many other teams there. So Juventus, needs to do the unbelievable to find themselves in the reach of the Champions League. If they don't reach in the Champions League, I doubt whether Chiesa is going to start Juventus because that will be a green light given to him to see to it that he really goes ahead and be to the needful. So, to Chiesa, Juventus not going to the Champions League will be his delight and it will be a nightmare to Juventus because they will be they will be they will be going, they will be losing very many players out of their team. Paul Pogba will go, Chiesa will go, Valhovic will go. So, looks like they're going to go back to square one to build their squad. But, we've been told that even Liverpool and Real Madrid have been really looking for this player known as Federico Chiesa. So, who is going to win the battle? Who is going to win the battle? Injuries have been talked about by this player. And it's the next tweet that really followed this tweet that he's being linked to a team known as Arsenal. And via the Arsenal website, we are told the following, that Chiesa missed the best part of the year after rupturing his cruciate ligament back in January 2022. And he has since struggled to regain full fitness since returning to action two months ago. So... Looks like he's an injury-prone player. But <clears throat> who doesn't know Thomas Partey at Arsenal? Who doesn't know Thomas Partey at Arsenal? Ever since they signed him from Atletico Madrid in 2022, is it 2020? He has never, never, never been fit until this season. This season, he only got injured once. They tweeted him. He returned. And ever since he returned in the game of Brentford, Partey has featured in every Arsenal game. He went ahead to play three games in the World Cup. He returned fully fit and is really doing magic for the team called, called Arsenal. So that is not an issue because Arsenal has shown us that they can treat players who have really been disturbed by injuries. Even Tomiyasu. You know what happened to Tomiyasu? He has been a player who has been always an injury prone, but he is back and he's now two, three months into the season. He is not really facing an injury. Kian Tierney used to get injured more often. But they've treated him. He's really finding himself the levels of fitness that he has never been, been at. At the club of Arsenal, look at Zinchenko. He's another player who was really injured a lot. And he's finding himself as a non-injury prone player. So I believe the reason as to why Mikelata is not caring about the injuries knows that he's having the right medical team that can treat Federico Chiesa to really put him back to the levels of fitness he deserves to be. Then we've been told this is something that Arsenal fans should go on and really jubilate about that. Still, when he's available, the former Fiorentina forward can be devastating. Scoring 15 times and providing a further 11 assists in, a competi in all competitions during the season of 2020-2021. So he had close to 26 goal involvements before he crossed from 
Fiorentina to Juventus. So it shows you that he's a very good player. No doubt, no doubt. If Arsenal are going in for Chiesa, they bring him. Trust me, they would have registered themselves on the teams that are going to win the Champions League, according to me, because he is really a good player. You add Chiesa to Bukayo Saka, Martinelli Trozard, Jesus. Guys, that is an overdose of, of the front three because they will go ahead and really torment any team. So that is all about Federico Chiesa. Arsenal is being linked to this player and they say they really like the player. That's it. So them loving the player has really put them into, into position of really going in for him. Ateta looks like he's not worried about the injuries that this person is really going in through because Thomas Partey had more injuries than this guy. But obviously, he really went ahead to gate past them. Not so. So, let's leave Federico Chiesa there. Let's talk about Gabriel Jesus. And this story... I had not done it, but someone asked me about this story. Let me see. Let me check out his name. He's not Tiva Jukaro, but brought a call for me, Gabriel Jesus, that he wants to come back next week, but Ateta told him to wait. All right. So, you are called Robert from Uganda, Kampala. So, you are asking about a player called Gabriel Jesus on his return. Now, as Arsenal was beating Manchester United. He was seen with one of the celebrities. I think he plays in the... Um, it's called what? The wrestling thingy. It's called... Um, Live Alone WWE. This one plays in this squared circle where they, they, don't, they, they don't don in shoes. I've forgotten how that is called. But he's called as Khabib. He was with Gabriel Jesus at the game, and he told him that he hopes to return in four or five weeks, which confirms, as posted before Christmas by Steve K, that the striker would be available on the 25th of February to return for the away game against Leicester City. I remember doing this story that Jesus will return on the 25th of February to play against Leicester City. Now, when this landed into the ears of Mikel Ateta, he had the following to say, about this and he said with him i don't know he wants to be in the he wants to be in next week that's obvious totally unrealistic but he's pushing and driving everybody to the limit hopefully it will be weeks and not months so jesus wants to return as soon as possible but ateta is telling us that the player is not yet ready to return though he feels like he wants to return the soul is wanting but the body is not willing because he needs to really find himself back to full fitness. But the good thing is that he's off the clutches. Even the kneecap is off. He has shown us several videos of him dribbling the ball. But the most important thing he's talking about is pushing the players that let's win these games. You saw him on the touchline when the game was coming to an end, the game of Manchester United and Arsenal, when it was really level, he was on the touchline commanding the players that this can't get done. We can't get this goal in, and obviously, they scored against us. And obviously, they won the game of football. So, it shows you the mentality of Gabriel Jesus and what he's doing in for the club of Arsenal. So, Ateta is telling us that for four to five weeks, that's when the player is going to be back. And obviously, that really confirms that he's going to return around the 25th of February to see to each that really plays the game of football for Arsenal. Then he added onto the Jesus story and told us the following that his impact and behind the scenes, he said he's been incredible with the boys, the staff and everyone around the club, his energy and how positive he is to the boys. He's always giving them advice and he's always next to them. He's been terrific. So when you look at the winning mentality of Gabriel Jesus, and you add on Federico Chiesa. I believe Mikel Arteta is going in for Federico Chiesa for a reason. Because he's one of the most direct players I've seen. And he's tailor-made for the Premier League. His physicality is unquestionable. He's good. He's fast. He has a very good quick fit. Skill set out of this world. Tenacious. Strong. He's a fighter. Short on goal. Good short range. He's a complete center forward. Sorry, he's a complete forward. 
Tyler made for the Premier League. And Mikel Arteta is soliciting out these players because he knows that where he's going is going to need them. Now we look at the mentality of Jesus. He's really out of this world. Him and Zinchenko have uplifted the spirits of these Arsenal players to a level of believing that they are winning the league. So, Mikel Arteta is talking about Jesus's, Jesus's energy and how positive he is to the boys. He always gives them advice and always next to them. He's been terrific, meaning that the manager is really knowing the importance of this player and how far he's gone ahead to help his team really reach where it is right now. So, he's returning in four weeks. He's not returning next week. The manager was just... He used that... that statement of he wants to be in next week showing how eager the player wants to report back on the field of play now let's go to queer the new central defender of Arsenal, ateta had the following to say about him today in the press conference against the game of man city and guys today morning i'm going to open up the day with the i'm opening up the deal with the match preview of Arsenal versus Manchester City at Etihad. That's going to be Friday. But today I'm doing the match previous. Then he said, Queer, oh Queer, gives us more cover. We've been with three central defenders for the first part of the season, which is a very short and we've been lucky with injuries. We needed to recruit in that position and we've done it. I've called in for such players like defenders at Arsenal and some of you watching this channel say, no, we need a midfielder, we need a centre forward, we don't need a central defender. I told you, Arsenal needs a central defender because if at all Gabriel Magales or Saliba gets an injury, that's when you get to know. That's when the manager comes out and we tell you that Arsenal has been lucky without injuries. So, they've got in Jakub Kuea to do the backup role. <laughs> Therefore, especially for Gabriel Magalhães, because for Saliba, if Saliba is away, Ben White can really drift back into the central defense and plays with either Kuya or Magalhães. If Magalhães now is away, Saliba can partner with Kuya, one of the best passers of the ball I've seen in world football, playing and launching the attack from the back. Now, Mikel Ateta has gone ahead and really told us that this lad, known as Jakub Kuya, plays different roles and is a versatile player and he's going to strengthen the team if anything else is available that can make us better we will look at it because he plays as a left back he plays as a central defender and he plays as a cdm so he's good on the ball ateta brought him in to really cover up in several positions of the pitch so that is it for Mikel Ateta and what he said about Jakub Kuya as a versatile player. And that means they've brought in two versatile players. Trossard is a versatile player. Jakub Kuya is a versatile player. So your thoughts on Chiesa being Arsenal's priority summer target are welcome in the comment section below. What do you think about Chiesa? Should Arsenal bring in Chiesa? Yet he's an injury prone player. Do you think they can really treat him like the Dando Thomas party and keep him fit throughout? Over to you, the viewers of Rokani Media Football. Then, Tell me your thoughts again about a player called Jesus who wants to return as soon as possible, but he needs to really get and wait for next two, next four to five weeks that he's back and is expected to return the game of Leicester. Then Ateta coming out and really throwing all the lots of hails to Kuya on his versatility and how he provides cover for them in the central defense. So that's what I had for you today. Last video of the day. Five videos up for you for grabs today. You've enjoyed me a lot. And I think you guys have nothing else. All questions answered. Tomorrow is another day. Kick starting off with the match preview of a team called Manchester City hosting Arsenal at the Etihad in the fourth round of the FA Cup. May the matter bless you abundantly. A sign out for now. See you later as Brock and David remains my name. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. Good night, my mates.